Nobody will ever be like King Pele. The king himself said it when he was alive. You might have somebody better than me or got some skills and quality as me, but nobody is going to be like me. Every kid that can score a free kick or a penalty or a panenka or whatever is called the next Pele. Why can't we just stop it? Hendrik, new Pele. Neymar, new Pele. Rodrigo, new Pele. Richarlison, new Pele. Betanku, new Pele. Vinicius Jr., new Pele. Mr. Bean, new Pele. Mickey Mouse, new Pele. Can we please stop it? Who used to say, uh, when they gonna be a new Pele? I say, never. Could it be better? Could it be a different one? But uh, no more. <laughs> yeah, that's the king say that nobody is going to be like him. And now it's putting young players under a lot of pressure because you have to be like Pele. You've been compared with Pele. To their credit, it's not themselves calling the, uh, calling or nicknaming themselves, oh, I'm the next Pele. It's the media, the fans, social media, building up somebody in order to destroy him even more. You know? It's not like Jose Moreno who will nickname himself a special one or something. These are built by the media, and they build you to a certain level because you scored a few goals here and there, and then they're going to destroy you. We're talking about Brazil today, my friends. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment down below if you want to help the channel. Take one second only and it will be much, much appreciated. Brazil are out of Copa America and this time was in the quarter final. They couldn't make it to the semifinals. And this is some uh, damning statistics here. Brazil since the start of 2023. They played 17 games, they won 6 of them, they drew 6, and they lost 5. Unheard of. Brazil used to be everybody's second team. Now, they are a bunch of overrated big stars. They act and behave like rappers, NBA stars, American movie stars and stuff. It's, it's all over the place. All over the place. So Brazil are not the Brazil of, you know, long time ago. And this time, Tata, uh, Marcelo Bielsa beat them on penalties. Yeah, well taken penalties from Uruguay and they knocked them out of the competition. So like no Vinicius Junior, no party. Brazil, they don't have a good midfield. They have some good players on top there and in the defense, but the midfield is not connecting properly between the defense and the attack. They're not really doing their job. So when Vinicius Junior also was out because he was suspended because of a yellow card accumulations, and then you ask yourself what is going to happen, where the goal is going to come from. Brazil exit from Copa America was tough to watch according to live score. And you see here Uruguay have beaten Brazil in consecutive games for the first time since 19. 92 long time ago let's continue you see the winning penalty here from uruguay and them celebrating yesterday or last night i don't even know when you're gonna watch this video and it was even a red card at the end the game was very very physical though it was very physical game it was like watching wwe 
that is uh, Copa America slash CONCACAF region. They really, really go for it. As so, uh, Aroho, like pushing, you know, marking his territory on Hendrik, unprovoked really. He just bumped him like, hey, this is my show. It's not your show, kind of. And it was good to see Rafinha, who also plays for for Barcelona. Two colleagues kind of fighting against each other because it's for the country. I'm protecting my boy. He's, he's a teenager, you know. Why are you going to intimidate him that way? And I, 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 I saw really uh, the solidarity in the Brazilian team for for protecting the young kid Hendrik because he started for the first time for uh, a game for Brazil but oh my goodness he got bullied from minute one to the last one they didn't give him even one space even one once one second you know not even one inch he couldn't even move and Colombia also are uh, through I think I made a video already about Colombia check on the on the on the list down below 27 games 21 wins six draw they don't lose zero losses so Colombia have a good case to make here probably they might win it who knows Copa America could go to Colombia Luis Diaz, four games for Colombia, four goals. Very, very good form for his national team. And also, James Rodriguez. This guy is the definition of international football. In the club level, he just average or below average. He was discovered in the World Cup that happened in Brazil. And Real Madrid bought him and he flopped. He was loaned here and there, sold to Monaco, whatever it was. And he was even in Qatar to play football there. It's just not working for him in the club level. Now he's back in Colombia playing for a local team. Not really doing good. But when it comes to the national team, he's just like, you know, a Ferrari or something like that. That's why you have to be very careful about international tournament. You don't base your scouting only on international football because they are there for a short period of time. They will be there for two weeks, three weeks in the camp. Okay? And they focus on playing football for a certain period of time. No distraction, no family, no nothing. You play football, football, football for your country and then you go home. But when it comes to the club level where you have to play week in, week out, every single day. You have to drive yourself to go to training. Okay? And distraction at home with family, friends, and all that. It's completely different than playing for a short period of time for your nation. Okay, so Colombia beat Panama 5-0. And like I said, James Rodriguez is in another level when it comes to playing for his country and Luis Diaz is having a hell of a tournament for Colombia so this um, is going to be the semi-finals Argentina against Canada if I have to guess very quickly I think Argentina are gonna are gonna beat them and go through but you never know this is Copa America there is no extra time right it's 90 minutes and you go straight to the penalties so you never know anything can happen but on paper of course argentina are gonna beat them uruguay against colombia i'm gonna give it to colombia this time and the final is gonna be between argentina and colombia and that one we have time to talk about it because oh my lord what a final is going to be Anyways, so the media been really, really killing this young young lad today, Hendrik. Look, the only pass Hendrik completed in 90 minutes against Uruguay was opening kickoff. 
the opening kickoff that was the only <laughs> the only pass that he made the rest he got locked in the jail but i think they are just building a, a narrative here they are building a narrative this guy is a kid he's a kid he didn't ask anybody to call him pele he never called himself pele people built this narrative about the next pele but he's still a kid and I, i'm still hopeful that he's going to to do good at real madrid score a lot of goals win a lot of trophies i have no doubt about it but people need to give him a break leave him alone okay leave him alone i'm sick and tired of building young people hyping them and then destroying them for fun shame on you